Hello there, Taurus. Welcome. Well, let's see when you're transitioning from 2022 into 2023. Let's see what's going on. We have storm warning. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> what happened? Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the thinking man. The sun. The world. Wow. Indecision. No, we got a lot of thinking going on, don't we? We have a thinking man. We got indecision. <laughs> okay. And we have blossoming abundance. Oh, broken heart. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. So, we have six chakra, Archangel Metatron. So, you, your third eye is open. Is right now you might be getting a lot of um, information. You might get a lot of like hits, hunches that are coming true. So pay attention because your third eye is really um, connected to your intuition here. And this is saying that your third eye is open here. So um, if you get some kind of vibe or something, listen to it because you're, the universe is talking to you and you are very receptive at this time. Now, let's start with your energy, the world. So you're completing a cycle, starting something new. You might be looking towards the future here, um, getting ready to do something new here. Okay, that's your present energy. Now, in the past energy, or this is your overall energy, this is your energy. Um, the energy of you right now is like completing cycles, starting something new. Now, in the past, you had some kind of storm warning. So something, uh, maybe something chaotic happened or something. This is almost like the... Um, the tower so something might have um, just came out of nowhere or something was just something happened in the past but at least it is in the past so let's come start clarifying why do we have the storm warning why is the storm warning here for Taurus actually I guess I can move this down a little bit number 10 10s are like endings of starting something new anyway cough and see so there's something that ended maybe abruptly something this could be a divorce this could be a relationship this could be um a way of life there's something that maybe happened out of the blue dying love grief you know also like closure and detachment so something happened here that it's over now if he has you thinking, because now we're the thinking man. So either you're some, if you're a female, there's someone thinking about you, or this is you thinking about something here, trying to contemplate something to do here. Um, 46. Okay, 46 equals 10 too. So you might be coming close to a decision or something you want to do here. The 10, 4 and 6 equals 10. Let's see. Ooh, have the beer. Okay, this is, could be someone being aggressive, or um. A power struggle but it also could be someone being very protective over something okay now what is the hidden influence there's some happiness here the Sun is here so what's what you're not seeing if there's something that can bring you a lot of happiness well, what is this we and the stars Wow so this is the Sun and the stars the Sun could be Leo the star could be Aquarius here I guess even the coffin could be um, Scorpio. Wow. Yeah, so there's a lot of happy wish fulfillment that you're not seeing. It's hidden. And this could be hot, passionate, success and love. And wishes and dreams come true. This You don't see it, but it's here. Maybe when you complete this cycle, whatever you're doing here. Okay, let's see the world. Let's see about the world. Storks, wow, there's definitely some kind of change. You're making a change. You might be moving. Are you changing locations? Um, maybe where you live. This also could be bringing news of a baby or some, a big giving birth to something new. Definitely, there's definitely the world and the storks. There's changes, right? Your energy right now is ready for change or you want to change. You want something end so you can have some new beginning. This could also be with the storks. This could be a new love. This could be starting over, too. Progress, moving on. It's definitely changes. So there's definitely changes around you right now at this time. And that's um, 
your energy. Okay, now what about the indecision? This is someone, this is outside influence. Someone is undecided about something. This is fish. Hmm. So this is a very spiritual connection. This is flowing. This is harmonious. Maybe a little flirtation. Maybe someone's flirting with you, but they're not really making a decision because they're not sure. Okay. Now, what you need to do here is this is blossoming um, abundance. So work on your abundance because it's coming in here. Pay attention to your abundance. And we have the ring. Okay, this commitment. This could be, um, you know, commitment in a relationship. Wow. Maybe you're... You need to focus on your abundance in order to have this relationship, to have this connection. Oh, look at this. We have the heart at the bottom. I don't know why I, I turned over. I want to look. A lot of love here. But this could be a marriage proposal. Agreement here. Okay, now let's see. Why do we have the broken heart as an outcome? I don't know if I like that. Why do we have the broken heart? Someone wants a commitment. So maybe someone can't commit, that's going to break someone's heart. So in order for this to work, it has to be a commitment. It has to be something that is sure, um, steadfast, reliable, stable, settling down, long-term relationship. But we have someone, there's a snake around someone. So there's some kind of, um, there could be someone trying to prevent this connection here with this snake energy. This is someone that's jealous, envious, and might be trying to, prevent it from happening that's where the broken heart could come in maybe someone is going to prevent something from happening that's meant to be it seems like it's meant to be this is betrayal lie deceit so if someone's telling you something make sure you really check out what they're saying because they might be lying just to prevent you from doing something that really is meant for you okay now what we have this um storm brewing and the coffin for the past let's get more into that what's going on with that This is the nine of wands. Someone being very protective or defensive here because of something that happened. Something that ended. Someone ended something and the other person was not happy about it, it seems like. So you might have ended something in the past and someone was not happy that you left. Okay, now we have this thinking man with the beard. What's that all about? We have here... The King of Wands. A lot of passion, desire here. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Someone's thinking about a lot of passion and desire. And maybe ha waiting for something to happen. Have a hanger here. Waiting to make an approach. Waiting for someone to come towards you. Being very protective. Being aggressive, maybe even. Okay, now. For the hidden influence. We have the stars and the sun, which is beautiful. Let's see. And this is the hermit. Yeah, this is hidden. This is seeking answers. Um, trying to find something. Going deep within. Virgo energy. Very spiritual. Healer, teacher, student. Might be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, what about the world and the storks? What's that all about? It definitely feels like change though. And we have here four of cups. Yeah, someone might be wanting to make an offer. Not knowing the other person's going to take it. The person might be afraid of change or afraid of what... Yeah, I feel like the person's afraid of change. They see these three cups here. They're not... This four cup, they're not interested in it for some reason. They're looking at the three cups. Maybe other offers? I don't know. But this looks like there's a possibility someone might pass by something. So if someone's offering you something, you know, give it a second look. Don't pass it by right away. Now we have the indecision and the fish for the outside influence. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, we have here justice, Libra energy. There's something coming in here that's going to be fear. Someone's undecided, but there's going to be a fear decision. Could be a contract too. Oh, let's see this um blossoming abundance with the ring. This is beautiful. I feel like someone's very um. I want to say um not very positive about something and it looks like this reading could be very positive oh does someone get a headache i just got a headache when i said that oh i must or i must rang through rang true somebody because also when i said that my head hurt oh so yeah so um 
don't be a pessimist because this definitely can happen here. So whoever I'm tapping into that's being pessimistic, this is definitely here. But you could lose it by thinking it won't happen. Two of swords, indecisive here. They're trying to make a decision, but can't make a decision because not seeing everything. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Okay. What about the anchor and the broken heart? What's going on with that? And we have here the eight of swords. See, someone's in their head too much. And that could be really affecting things. Because with the Eight of Swords, people are putting um, worry where there's no worry needed. This is always an opportunity that there's something that can be fixed, something can be solved. And sometimes people are, or, rather be in that um, mode of it's not going to happen, it's not going to work. And then, of course, if you're going to say it's not going to happen, it's not going to work, it's not going to happen, it's not going to work. Okay, we have here the Six of Swords. Someone's moving away from something that's no longer serving something better. It definitely feels like you're moving. There's a lot of changes coming in for you. A lot of changes. That's I feel very strongly. There's moving on from bad times to something good. This is getting guided. This is a guide here. This is spirit. Taking someone out of something that was no longer serving them. Or something that was not good to something much better. Less stressful. Okay. So now let's see. We just have one person here? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So the King of Wands. Let's see. What's the scoop on this King of Wands? revealed drama regret okay so, so it's gonna be revealed that someone regrets the drama that was caused because yeah if there's drama that could have broke up a connection if someone and i it could have been outside drama it could have been the, either you or your person causing drama it could be outside the connection too though okay so now let's see what signs do we have what signs do we have here for taurus what are the signs? We have Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, and Pisces. Okay. So this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, and Pisces. Now for the letters. I do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get the initials of both the first and last name, and someone has a middle name, and you know that middle name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have, ooh, K, L, G, O, S, D, E, B, Z, F, J. Okay. So the letters we have for you today are K, L, G, O, S, D, E, B, Z, F, J. Why well, see Deb in there? <laughs> Okay, guys, now let's see what names we have. What are the names here for Taurus? What are the names? Okay, we have Raul, R A H U L, John, Courtney. Mistina, M-I-S-T-I-N-A, Jamie, J-A-M-I-E, Cindy with an I-E, Camille, Christina, K-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, Antria, A-N-T-R-I-A, Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-S-A, Lucy, and Quinisha, Q U. N I S H A. 12 names. All right, guys. So those are names. And remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave me comments. Please let me know if it resonates. It really does help my channel. I really appreciate it. If it does not resonate, please check out your um, other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Maybe something will resonate with you more in another placement in your chart at this time. 
Okay, guys, I hope you have a very smooth transition from 2022 into 2023. I hope all your wishes and dreams come true. And um, I hope you, I'm wishing you a healthy, happy, prosperous new year. Okay, I got, oof, <laughs> there goes more correct. I can't speak. Okay, I love you guys so much. And I really do appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.